In a moment like this, I just sit there and I'm in awe of how this shit works just like it's said to. It's crazy. I have such a story and like I documented it via journals that correspond to things that just are like a network of like interconnecting points all in one direction that led to where it was being guided to lead to. Steven Senato, happy Monday, my brother. I created space to be with the creator's journey today, starting from the very beginning and following your suggested sequence. This is divine. Here are some of my thoughts. This is better than any book I've read or listened to. Your journals are the creation code. It's been going on 18 months since I closed down my company. It was July of last year. And the last 18 months has mm -hmm. just been a roller coaster of, you know, I ended up getting into that bad business deal. I lost everything. I regained more than what I lost. And then I started on the process of trying to rebuild what I had shut down and just kind of prepare ourselves to be, to take part in the energy revolution that's going on. And this summer, this past like six or seven months has been a big learning curve. I learned a lot of lessons that cost a lot of money, but I finally feel like things finally came together just in the past two to three weeks but we're coming to the closing of the mm -hmm. year. We have an amazing team and everything's looking good for 2023, but because it hasn't happened yet, that's where the anxiousness just, I find myself a little bit in it. I'll share with you, I created a uh, story called The Creator's Journey and it goes over, I'll just show you quickly and I'll share with you. Um, it's my entrepreneurial story about how I built my company and I started when I was 24. And the story is about how I used to journal, well, actually I journal a lot. And I have like over 500 pages of journals and everything that I wrote in my journal ended up becoming what the company ended up turning out to be. It's a software that I use for my company, but it's just one web link. So, you know, it's just one link, you open it and you continue to go down and it just tells a story. And then all these videos are me going over the specific journal entries where I used to write, like, I'm going to do this and then it happened and I'm going to do this. And so I did that. How yeah. many years of collection? Six are the years that I documented because before that I was writing about some dumb young shit, you know, but it started in 2016. So uh, it's a version of the hero's journey. So are you familiar with the Joseph Campbell, the hero's journey mythology? It's a Western tale, but there's, uh, you probably heard of some of these guys, Joseph Campbell, Carl Jung, a lot of like the early philosophers and Joseph Campbell did a really intense study about like all the ancient mythologies and all the stories from like all over the world, the commonality between all of them. And the commonality between all of them was something that he called the hero's journey. And it was a story of the spiritual evolution and coming into one's divine nature. And it always was like some crazy story about how some warrior, you know, some young person went into the forest and slayed the dragon and came back, you know, it's that version in so many different, what's it called, the hero's journey. It's a metaphor of coming of age, a spiritual evolution of a man or a woman and going in because, you know, once you kind of get called down that journey, you, you have to go to the force. You have to slay the dragon. You have like you ever seen The Matrix, the movie The Matrix, you know, you have to take the red pill. So anyways, it's just a little allegory. But the story is about how everything that I wrote in my journal came true. But my journal, it is all about all the spirituality that I was learning throughout those years. So while I was building my business, I was deep into my spiritual studies and the spiritual studies, the impact that it had on my mind, which I write in my journal. You know, uh, everyone has social media these days and, the, you know, having a social or internet or persona or profile on the internet is just necessary. And I never did that for myself throughout all my 20s. I was working. I had the top performing energy company. I was like doing what a lot of people that were very popular were doing, but I was not really like into, I was camera shy and I was just working. I never really built things. So when I closed down my company, I felt like I didn't really have much to show. I used to use my company as like my, hey, listen, this is what I've done. But once it closed, I kind of felt like, oh shit, well, I definitely should have did some more. First off, it was for me to be able to gain or to establish credibility for myself as a professional. But secondly, and more importantly, it was because I knew how impactful the journal entries and the messages within those journal entries were and how impactful they were on me. Because I feel like a lot of those messages were divinely intuited 
They were, you know, messages about how to create a reality for yourself. It was goal setting and committing to discipline and manifestation and psychedelics and, you know. I think that is something that I have a long-term idea for. The story that's out there is very, very powerful. And my main target to try to help are young men. There's stuff out there, but it's really a lot of garbage. But really what it is, is I want to help them, but I know that until I do it again, until I create a reality and I write goals and then they happen again, but they're like a hundred times bigger, then will people really see like, holy, this isn't a fluke. So my plan now is I actually wrote it in the journal in 2018. It's like called Manifestation in Action. So now rather than writing it in my journal without the expectation of showing it or not knowing if it's going to come true, I'm now using my journal as like an active co-creator in this universe, like writing to it what I want. And I want to show that this is how this shit works. And then ultimately long term, I think it'll be a story that people could follow and be like, holy shit, this is like, yo, journaling, you know? and then just start to go through the stories. John, I really like your pitch. It's very authentic. Yeah, probably is the most authentic sharing I ever seen, right? Because the thing that gets direct to people is when you're being authentic, right? So there's no holding back. You're not trying to be perfect here, right? You just, yeah, you see a lot of way you're presenting information. You're not just all this flashy design. It's very real. It's right down to earth. It's very original. And I had to tell you that you did a great job. I know it's not easy to pull this thing off alone for so many years of collection. 